the Milwaukee Bucks Parade. Jalen, I love championships parades because you get to see the athletes drunk. They get the most drunk at the parade, <laughs> and then they have to talk in front of cameras, and it's one of the greatest things in sports. And, of course, we're going to start with the Bucks, P.J. Tucker. You know, it's crazy. That's where everybody, like, when I came here, they're like, yo, you got to, like, show, like, you got to be the dog. And I'm like, wait. Man, we got dogs. Like, they just say, <laughs> like, we, <laughs> like, I got here, like, we, we already got dogs. I love how they he finishes this speech. We just dogs, and we going to be dogs. And our dogs is crazy. We got dogs, you hear me? Nothing but the dog in me. me. <laughs> <laughs> and he finishes it with a big swig from the champagne bottle. I think he had a few swings in the champagne bottle over the course of the day. But Jalen, what do you think about the parade and PJ's speech? As an athlete, Jacoby, that's the one moment in my career that I've always regretted. That I didn't get a chance to do that as a member of the Michigan Wolverines. I didn't get a chance to do that as the member of the Indiana Pacers. That right there is what it's all about. And you know I'm a man of the people. And imagine if you have footage of me. This, this is why certain people can't have nice things. The man above know he should have never gave me a championship ring in the parade. He knows that. Because my mm. footage would be P.J. Tucker times Tom Brady times 100. And so, in all honesty, though, I'm really happy for the Bucs. I'm really happy for their fan base, their first championship in 50 years. And P.J. Tucker, Bobby Portis, Drew Holiday, they were brought to the Bucks to bring mm -hmm. that dog, to bring that toughness. That was one of the things the squad was missing alongside the great Giannis Antetokounmpo and the emerging now closer in Chris Middleton. Well, Giannis Antetokounmpo had 50 points in the closeout game, and he was dominant throughout the series. And Jalen, another Bucks legend, Oscar Robinson, the big O, had this to say about Giannis Tentacupo. He said, quote, the only person I think that the size to give him a decent chance at guarding Giannis is AD from the Lakers. No one else. I don't see any player on defense that's going to be able to handle Giannis. Jalen, what do you think about these thoughts from the big O? Breathing and money are the only things I love more than basketball. And I'll tell you something. Did you say the big O said? No, I just want to make sure. The big O said, right? Is that what I heard? Mm -hmm. So if, if that's the case, that's true. That's true. <laughs> that's true. And But here's the beauty of being an all-time great player. The big O knows this. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar knows this. Current day game. KD, Steph Curry, LeBron. You know what all great players know? Nobody can actually stop them. That's just how this works. Nobody can stop them. It's going to take a collective effort to slow them down. The Suns clearly were not able to do it versus Giannis. I think that's that's what I left that quote with as well. It's like, yeah, AD is probably the only individual defender in the NBA that could handle Giannis. But really what you need is a team effort. And the Suns up front just weren't big enough. Aiden seemed a little light and a little young. And then you had Crowder. They missed Sarge. But I think to stop Giannis, which we have seen before, is it takes a true collective effort from a team strategy to make other people on the Bucks beat you. But we're going to wait until next year to see if that can happen because right now this is Giannis's time. He's in the Chick-fil-A drive through right now getting a 50-piece <laughs> nugget. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.